The title of the report is Landscapes on the Edge, New Horizons for Research on the Earth's Surface. For the past two years, I've been the chair of the Committee on Challenges and Opportunities in Earth Surface Processes. The Committee of Ten was assembled at the request of the National Science Foundation, and our tasks included identifying the most important scientific questions in this newly emerging, rapidly advancing field. The committee developed four research initiatives that are timely, rich in scientific merit, and likely to transform the field of earth surface processes. The research initiative on interacting landscapes and climate was developed in order to encourage greater understanding of the role of climate in shaping the Earth's surface and of the feedbacks between processes at the Earth's surface and the Earth's climate. Different aspects of the Earth's surface affect climate. For example, mountains, valleys, coastlines, deserts. There's an exciting example of interacting climate and Earth's surface. When mountains are being built, those mountains in turn affect the flow of atmospheric masses. There's more rain on the upwind side of a rising mountain mass. That rain can lead to more flow in rivers and greater erosion. And that then triggers a response from the Earth's crust, which might result in more material being drawn upward towards the Earth's surface. So there's this direct link between the climate system and crustal processes. And there's a great need to improve models of climate change so that they incorporate the effects of the Earth's surface. One of the initiatives is to develop quantitative reconstructions of the Earth's surface across time scales. There are two intents here. One is to actually build a detailed reconstruction of Earth's history. Such a history could be used then to test models of landscape evolution, for example. The other intent is to mine the rich record of change that is stored in various Earth archives. These include, for example, sedimentary deposits and soils. In the Initiative on Coevolution of Ecosystems and Landscapes, the fundamental goal is to understand how landscapes and biota coevolve over time. This initiative requires input from ecologists bringing ecological principles to bear upon landscape dynamics. And it can go the other way. Studies of landscapes and dynamic processes in those landscapes can lead to better understanding of ecological processes. An objective of this initiative is to look at biotic patterns and how they're related to topographic patterns. Another goal of this initiative is to develop models that couple ecological processes with earth surface processes. By increasing our understanding of the landscape response to human activities, and by building models that are able to quantify the rates of impact, and by looking at the geologic past to understand the natural system, by looking at the recent past to look at the human legacy of impacts, we were building capacity to be able to predict landscape response to change. This is fundamental for beginning to mitigate environmental degradation, restore natural systems, redesign natural systems. So this particular initiative is very important to the growing environmental industry of landscape restoration. One of the initiatives is to examine the future of the Earth's surface in what's known as the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene is a new term that refers to a landscape so altered by human activity that it actually has a geologic signature. The fundamental goal of this initiative is to begin to understand and predict how the landscape will respond to change in the future as a result of human activities. The committee views landscapes as on the edge in two senses, literally in that there's dramatic change occurring in many parts of the earth. We also see landscapes on the edge in the sense that there are many new approaches to doing research at the Earth's surface, many new tools for determining the age of different deposits and materials at the Earth's surface. And with these new tools and approaches and newly developed models, 
We're poised for major advances. We envision that soon we will have great predictive capacity. And making those changes will require intellectual collaborations that cross disciplinary boundaries. Making those changes will require new observ observatories, new field studies, new focused investigations at landscapes that are poised for change, landscapes on the edge.